Aida for telling my, 28, fiancé, 29, that I could not rely on her in a life or death situation. I have what I think is a very good sense of situational awareness. I'm a quick thinker and I tend to not panic in dangerous situations. My fiancé on the other hand is the exact opposite. If I'm being nice I would say she does t have any awareness of danger. If I'm being honest I would say that she has the survival instinct of panda raised in captivity. She had no sense of danger. Around her, doesn't constantly examine her surroundings for things that could be dangerous, and when things are bad, her reaction is to panic and scream. Friday we went out on a friend of mine's boat and way got into a dangerous situation. We were anticipating light rain but we ended up with a downpour, high winds and high waves. While me and the other men there were trying to strap things down and keep the boat from capsizing. My fiancé screamed and cried for dear life. She was in hysterics. And I get it was a scary situation, Boother yelling and screaming that, we're all gunnity, and for God to save us and literally crying saying that it's my fault that she's on the boat since I asked her to come with. None of the other. GFS or wives were doing this, just her. I'm sure the other women there were just as scared but tried to keep it in for the sake of the men doing something about it. The downpour was really bad for about 15 minutes, so 15 minutes of wailing while we are doing everything we can to keep things alright. We made it back safe with little more damage than a few. Spilled white claws. On the car ride home I told my fiancé that we needed to talk about how she was behaving during the crisis. Not only was it incredibly embarrassing in front of my boys, but it was distracting, unhelpful, and telling. I told her that, today proved to me that if I was in a life or death situation, I could not rely on her to be any help or do anything except make things more stressful. I said she needed to learn how to not panic and be helpful, she got unbelievably mad. She said she thought she was going to die and had reason to freak out. It told her that all of us were scared but none of USWERE as ridiculous as she was. We argued the entire ride home and she is still ist off AR me. I think I was right to say this, especially since. We plan on spending our lives together and raising a family and I can't be the only level-headed one, Aida. Edit oh my ucking god. The women there did not help because they did not know how to help. The menthir have been out together on the boat countless times before so we all are experienced and know exactly what to do. It's so much more unsafe for them to be in our way attempting to help if they didn't really know what they're doing. It's safer for everyone if they just hang on and keep calm until the issue is resolved. This has nothing to do with them being women. It has everything to do with them not knowing what Toto. If another guy had been then and didn't know what to do, I'd tell him to sit tight and let those of us that do know handle it. Aida for telling my boyfriend he can't go on his friend's bachelor trip? I, 24F, have been dating my boyfriend, 25 meters, for almost 3 years and lived together for 2. We have been to two weddings together and both have been friends of his from college that I have never met before. I was happy to go because I am his partner and I love to meet people that have been a part of his life. This year he is a groomsman in two weddings and I have one of my college best friend's weddings. My friend's wedding is this June and we have been RSVP'd since February. Yesterday, my boyfriend found out that one of the bachelor parties for his buddy is the same weekend of my friend's wedding. It told him that he wouldn't be able to go because we have my friend's wedding. He told me that he has never met her and he was not going to miss his buddy's bachelor party for a random wedding. I told him that if we hadn't already RSVP'd for him then things would be different. I am very traditional when it comes to commitments on formal events. All I want is for my boyfriend to attend the wedding with me because we already committed to it before we knew about the bachelor party. But now I am wondering if I am being in awe. So, am I the AH? Edit. After reading comments, I see that the way I addressed it by saying, he wouldn't be able to go, was not the best way of approaching the conversation. He often forgets plans and I have to remind him. We both RSVP'd together so had originally agreed to go with me. The invite was addressed to my name and his, not me plus one guest. Aida for telling my parents that if they want to use my room as a guest room I can move out. My parents are having people from their home country come for a visit. They have told me that for the four weeks that the guests are here I was to vacate my room and sleep in the basement on an inflatable mattress. IF26 have only been living with them because they insist. I have a job and have been working and saving money since I was 16. I didn't need there. Help to pay for college and I pay them rent for my room as well as buying groceries and helping out around the house. 
I told them that if they wanted a guest room then O could move out. There are several condo developments in my area that have units ready for immediate possession and I have almost enough to buy one outright. I have no debt thanks to living at home for the last four years. They say that I'm being ungrateful and argumentative. I just don't think it's very fair to kick me out of a room I pay for for nearly a month. They didn't even offer me the choice not to pay fourth month I don't have my room. Aida for calling her selfish for being unwilling to help my mom? My mom just lost her housing a week ago and has 30 days to find somewhere else to go. She was on state housing and disability but it was turned off without warning. We are trying to fight it currently but from as far as I can tell, she's not the only person this has happened to this month, like hundreds of elderly are going through this, she has lupus so she has no job. She's 59. We have. A 5 bedroom house. 3 kids who have their own room and then the 4th bedroom is used as our shared office. I suggested letting my mother move in here and letting her stay in our office, which would have to be relocated to maybe the attic. She immediately said, UCK no, not happening. I remained calm, despite her hostility surrounding the issue bothering me. I tried coming up with every alternative imaginable and she shot down every single idea. I found it a little weird because her and my mom get along really well. Like I'm pretty sure my mom likes my wife more than she likes me. So I finally snapped and asked her what the UCK her problem was and why she was acting so miserable. She snaps back with, last I ucking checked, you're fully aware that I refuse to be around your mother's ucking dog. Her dog is not coming here. Her dog is not allowed here. She won't get rid of her dog, therefore she has no place here. I honestly hadn't even thought about the dog up till this point. My mom has a Rottweiler who's like 2 years old and he's a big boy. He's gompy. My wife doesn't like the dog at all, she used to get chased by Rottweilers as a kid but never been bitten. So she won't even give the dog a chance, she admittedly doesn't like any dog outside of like, retrievers. But I still feel this is rather ignorant. I told her she was being incredibly selfish for being unwilling to help my mother over a dog and she absolutely lost it. She said that her life is not going to be revolved around taking care of my disabled mother and take care of an untrained giant Rottweiler. She said she's also not chancing having this mutt around our kids while untrained and Shay's absolutely repulsed that I'm not seeing how dangerous it could be, we have small kids. She said I'm an absolute rig, and under no circumstances was she going to put my mother over the well-being of our kids and if I can do that, I had better see myself out. I think she's over the ucking top, to be blunt. Aida? ETA. My wife is in therapy. Therapy doesn't take away fears. She said mom could move in if she doesn't have the dog. My mom refuses. It's my wife's house. She inherited it long before we married. She works from home full time and has the kids. I work PT in office and PT at home. Aida for bringing my baby to her sister's performance and not leaving when she cried? This has caused drama I was not expecting. I have two children with my ex-husband, Will, Penelope, 12F, and Johnny, 10M. A few years ago, I remarried, Chris. We have a six-month-old baby girl together, Lila. Penelope and Johnny live primarily with their father as he's closer to their school. They come to us on the weekends. Penelope is in the theater program at her school. I missed the fall shows because I was in labor and then had a newborn. Penelope understood as best a preteen girl can, her spring show opened last week. Chris and Lila came with me. Will, Johnny and Will's wife, Ariana, were already there. Will saw I brought Lila and go to weird look about him but Ariana hushed him and said, just let it go. Lila slept through the first half. A little before intermission, she awoke and was fussy. I began rocking her and trying to calm her while also watching the play. I got a few dirty looks from parents around me. I gave them a, what can you do, shrug, as it's a baby. At intermission, Will suggested Chris take Lila home. I said she should sleep during the second. Half and Chris said he wanted to watch the performance. Will started getting upset but again, Ariana had him walk away. Lila did fall asleep again. But halfway through Act E, woke up and started screaming. It was loud enough this time that it did catch the performers off guard. I quickly went into the lobby with Lila. When I tried to go back in once she calmed, the usher wouldn't let me, saying once a person leaves, they're not allowed in to prevent interruptions, meaning, I missed Penelope's solo. Penelope refused to see me after the show nor accept the flowers we bought for her. 
I watched her leaving with Ariana, who was consoling her. Will met me in the parking lot. He was ist. He said I never should have brought Lila, pointing out he and Ariana got a sitter for their young child. I said I didn't want to leave Lila and felt it was good we all supported her. After missing the fall show, I wanted to be there for my daughter. I added it was just a middle school performance, it isn't the end of the world. He gave me a disgusted look and walks away, Penelope hasn't answered my calls or text. This weekend, she refused to come over. Chris thinks we were in the right, but my parents are just assist and called me an SS. Ieta?